so now we can go for uh, for the movie component and set uh, and set uh, the the uh, basic structure for uh, the basic data inside our component. So first, uh, we talked, uh, as you remember, we spoke about uh, the life cycle methods inside uh, our inside React. Which uh, which we have here is that is the uh, component did mount uh, life cycle method, uh, which will uh, be triggered once the component uh, being called. So in our case, when the uh, movie page being uh, tabbed, then this component will be, or this uh, this method will be triggered, and this. Uh, by triggering this, me this, this method, uh, it will trigger this action, which is uh, a fetch movie, the fetch movie action, which will uh, fetch this uh, specific movie uh, data from the API and set it into into movie state. So let's see in our in our uh, Redux and say, see the uh, our states. Let's go to the Redux. Let's try some. Okay, whatever. So now, in our states, we can see uh, our states here. So uh, once I triggered this tab, the movie. Uh, should be uh, should be filled with the data of of this specific movie. So, so if we tab on this movie, it will not display anything, but it should uh, put the data inside this movie. But obviously, it doesn't. So let's get back into into our component. Okay, we are triggering this method, which will trigger this action and this action. Let's say the actions here, fetching movies, it's search movie, loading, fetch movies. It's not triggering the fetch movie uh, action type. So this action is not being, it's not being triggered and that's that's not supposed to happen oops I forgot <laughs> I forgot the O show so component did mount so that will solve the problem I believe so let's save and let's get back into our component and see and here we go we for this specific movie we are having this uh, this this info which is coming from the API so uh, the call and the action is is working so let's go ahead and fill the uh, the info here with dynamic info uh, we already have loading and movie state inside our component so let's uh, first let's destructuring the loading cost loading and the movie state from this dot props also we need to create a variable which will be movie info and let's put our syntax or this uh, basic structure basic HTML structure inside it so let's Okay. So
so uh, in this variable we have, of course we are not returning anything here so inside uh, before that was create a, a content variable which will equal to first it will check the loading state value if it is true so it will display the spinner and if it is false it will display our uh, movie where is it movie info okay and then we will return the a single div with uh, contents variable okay save we don't have spinner as usual we forgot we forgot to import spinner so let's import spinner from let's go outside into layout and inside layout we have a spinner a save and here we go the contents oops <laughs> I displayed a plain text which is which is not professional at all <laughs> it should be inside curl braces so let's save again go ahead and here we go so if you if you notice that we have a spinner while the movie uh, let's go to the movie while the movie uh, info being arrived uh, so the spinner being displayed after it's arrived the loading state will be uh, false and and it will display the the movie template so let's let's have the info here let's fill we already have the movie uh, object so let's in our case first let's uh, change the class names okay And we need for the source we need the image source so it will be movie dot let's see the object where is the it's the poster okay poster and we need the movie title which will be movie dot title also we have a January movie dot it's January it's okay that's right January Okay, we have the movie released, which will be the dates released. That's right. Movie dot release and the rate. Let's copy this, save some time, and paste it. For the rates rated, also the IMDb rating, we need to put writer, actor. You know, those all those info you can use it inside your application. It depends on the the info you need to display inside your uh, inside your application. 
so where's the rating okay this IMDB rating oops IMDB rating okay director director hmm where it is here it is director also the writer which will be also the writer actors is it that actors or was um, actors where is actors oh here it is actors and we need the about so let's put some about actors plots I I think it's the plot okay for the href we need to use uh, the IMDB uh, link so let's go to IMDB ratings was IMDB mm, website hmm. so for the IMDB let's type um it's https www.imdb.com slash title and then the imdb id so you will add it with the movie dot i m d b i d and for go back to search so that this will give us uh, uh, take the, the user into the home page so let's import link from import link from react router DOM so we can use the link here and link okay let's save well, let's see if there's you must specify the oh yes already okay two and this will go to home which is backslash save go back and here we go here's our movie so let's set a container to uh, get the content at the middle so let's just add a container here you know we can we can delete this or we just can oh it's okay we can delete it and add container let's go the closing tag 
for the container and okay so here we go we having we are uh, we do have the um, actually I don't like the container here I misspelled okay it's my fault okay get back and here we go here is our single movie uh, page let's try some new one spinner is working let's go to the IMDB page there's an error okay where is this page where we not found the server hmm we are missing the uh, forward slash so let's get back and add these forward slash save and get back to our application let's okay and here we go here's the IMDB link and also we can get back to the search and I believe that's it everything is working let's try some uh, hello we are having this results also we can go to the movie info and display those movies in movie info uh, the January the released you know you can do a lot of things with with those uh, data with those with this uh, API uh, also with uh, any other APIs the same strategy and the same uh, process so I believe that's it for this video in the next video I will uh, make some fixes and start deploying our uh, application into github pages thank you see you later